What's up, Aries? This your girl, Rika the Empress, and yes, I'm back in the building doing a reading for you guys. I'm seeing some good energy going on. Aries, you might be connected with a Libra or got Libra in your chart somewhere, but you got calling in your soulmate, passion, trust, forgiving, and learning. So, um, whoever this person is that you're connecting with, I feel like you're manifested or you will be manifesting a higher level of commitment from the weeks of November the 3rd, for the week of November the 3rd to November the 10th. I see passion. I see the passion that you feel inside is such a high honor. Like, you, you're you very passionate. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There is something that you want to... There is something that you want to express from your heart. And I feel like this is a very trusting relationship with somebody that's very mature. You got a lot of faith in this relationship. This situation is calling for you to have faith. This could be uh, somebody that's very mature or you might be very mature. And you got forgiven and learning as you really see of the past. You experience more love in your present moment, the official person. I feel like somebody might be proposing to somebody. Somebody's about to get married or somebody is about to manifest a wedding because they're going to propose to someone. And whoever this mature man is, he's the official person. There's a lot of equal give and take going on. And somebody's starting to go with the flow about being in a higher level of commitment. Or, going, or there's equal give and take to somebody going with the flow about their justice about what they deserve, about fairness and balance. Somebody started to, whatever this past energy with the four of cups and five of cups is now you with the six of swords, like there were um, failed relationships. You had a lot of disappointments and regrets, but I see that somebody is now moving to calmer waters within this situation. Somebody's keeping to themselves about some type of new opportunity that they want to offer somebody. Somebody might be wanting to propose to somebody or offer somebody some type of gift. And it's going to be some type of, it's going to be unexpected, but it's going to be some type of truth and clarity. Let me see what this Hermit in the Page of Pentacles is about. The Knight of Wands, that's your energy, Aries. Yeah, you went, you did some heavy soul searching. You're going to go with deep within it. Yeah, you did. Somebody's going to apologize. And it's going to come out the blue because you're going to speak your truth. You took action. I feel like, uh, Aries, you're going to take some type of action to apologize to somebody to get things to uh, a peaceful place. Yeah. You, you, that's what it is. There was some equal, yeah, you're starting to realize that there was equal give and take and balance to whatever this situation was that you had. You're trying to make some a situation right. You missed out on the opportunity and you have some regrets that you're just trying to get to a better place with. When I see the Hermit in the Page of Pentacles, um... I'm seeing that there's a situation where you might want to uh, possibly talk to someone, take action to actually apologize to someone to get things to a better situation. With the Page of Cups and the Six of Swords and Knight of Wands, you want to come in. Yeah. The Tower and, and the... Uh, the Tower and the Hat and the... The Tower and the King of Swords is... Clarified by the high priestess, the eight of wands. Uh-huh. You're going to listen to your intuition. Yeah, you're going to listen to your intuition. And you're going to actually head, move forward towards a marriage. I see that you're actually going to listen to your intuition. And you're going to move forward towards a traditional relationship. Yeah, this is a decision. 
Yeah. Somebody's listening to their with their intuition and they're gonna go in their head towards being in a traditional relationship. I'm hearing Page of Cups like, and you're gonna promise. I feel like there was some type of communication or some type of um like I said with this with the, you haven't talked to this person in a while. You're gonna rush right in and surprise this person. So you might be apologizing. It might be some type of you just trying to get things to a better situation. Yeah, because you missed out on whatever this opportunity was that you had. And right now, there was some type of disappointments and regrets. And you are trying to get past this. You're starting to move to a better place. You took action. Okay, I see what it was. You took action and opened up your heart to whatever this brand new beginning was. And you started moving forward towards a peaceful place. Whatever this situation was. And you're listening to your intuition, which is going to lead you to a higher level of commitment. I see what's going on. Whatever past disappointments and regrets you are now, mentally you are, emotionally wise, whatever that was, you are starting to move to, um, you, you're getting past this. You're going to take action towards this brand new beginning. Yeah, I like this energy. You got some good coming in your life. You are manifesting things, cause there's you, you, there's some balance going on. The equal give and take. It, it that's what spirit is saying. There will be fairness and balance. The equal give and take. You will have your justice. Yeah, there's some equal give and take. Yeah, and it, oh wow. Yeah, somebody about to get married. Somebody's going to go ahead and marry somebody Aries. Somebody's like, you know what? I haven't thought about this long enough. I'm ready. Somebody, I, when I see the Knight of Wands, somebody's ready to take things to the next level with some type of emotional commitment. Because they've moved past whatever this pain was. Yeah. Somebody's going deep within about whatever this new opportunity is. Yeah, somebody about to get married. That's all I'm seeing for real. I'm sorry. If I'm taking a long time, I just don't want to tell you the wrong thing. That's all I'm seeing. That's all I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, somebody is going to go ahead and manifest this situation. Somebody's going to manifest. Somebody's going to go ahead and propose to somebody and going to have faith in whatever this situation is. This person is mature now and they're ready. They didn't forgave themselves. They're ready to move past this situation. They're ready to be in a high level of commitment. Um, I'm trying to find, there we go. Uh, I got a lot of stuff on this table. I'm sorry. Clarify for my Aries Collective friends. Grass is greener. Proposal. Yeah. This you, this is somebody that you have possibly... Yeah, it was equal give and take and balance in a situation. This is somebody that you not only were... Yeah, there was a situation where you actually possibly have a connection with someone that is your friend. You ready to take the situation to the next commitment? This could have been somebody you were dating and you realize that you are happy with this person and you're ready to propose to them. Or this could be a, a somebody that you have a close friendship with that you're not even aware. That yeah, you got party and celebration. Yeah.
whatever this party is, whatever this celebration is, Yeah, somebody's going to come together. Or it could have been some type of celebration. You got friends and then you got a party. All right, clarify the bad intervention. Ah. Uh, yeah, clarify party. Okay, so this is what's going on. Aries, don't be surprised if somebody that you don't even look at like that or somebody that you haven't really dealt with in a while, you might receive something unexpected from this person because they're starting to have a, a spiritual awakening to the fact that they want to come together with you. There could have been some type of, uh, there could have been a situation where you could have been somewhere. Oh, wow. Hold on. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, Aries. I think I know what's going on. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm seeing what's going on now. So, um, you could have had some type of friendship or you could have had some type of relationship with someone that you felt like that was better for you and you proposed to this situation. You proposed to this person. But there was something in happening where you could have caught this person... Um, with the party energy, I'm feeling like there was some energy where it was a lot of partying and maybe a lot of alcohol consumed. Or it could have been a, some type of celebration. What I'm really, because it was something that you saw unexpectedly. About, it caused some type of a spiritual awakening. And I feel like it, it was due to, um, it says liquid courage. So there was something that unexpected happening. I feel like you saw something and you became awakened to the feelings that you have for someone. And that was, you could possibly been drinking. But there was a tower moment that happened. It caused some, that tower. There was some type of heartbreak. And they led some, somebody's heart broken in at a crossroads. Because there was they saw that somebody on social media was already in a relationship. And really, this person realized that they were a third party. So somebody thought they was manifesting something. Somebody could have saw that they friends or could have been looking at their friends. And saw that the grass was greener with being in a, a high level commitment. I feel like this person was possibly at um, a party somewhere. And they were getting, I'm going to be honest with you, this person was getting fucked up and had a tower moment. And I feel like they're going to send you some type of message due to them having a spiritual awakening to whatever feelings that they really have for you. Because of whatever this, uh, the, that tower moment was. And then remember I told you that King of Swords? That clarity. This person is now they heartbroken and at a crossroads. They like, damn. Cause oh uh, uh they see on social media that you're happy. And this is a third party that's ready to stir up some drama, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, I'm seeing what's going on. So you could be friends with this person. Or this person could have put you in a friend zone. But whatever is going on, there's something that you're going to see. There's going to be some type of tower moment. 
on social media about a relationship and every time I clarify it's like something unexpected is gonna happen expect the unexpected as you see this person is holding their phone so you might get some type of uh you might see I think this person saw something on Facebook they could have been somebody could have mm, somebody could have been friends with somebody on Facebook friends with somebody on Facebook and saw that the relationship that they had the fr I Yeah, somebody could have been friends with somebody and thought the grass was greener, so they married this person. And then there was some type of uh some type of celebration or some type of gathering that caused somebody to have a tower moment. Somebody is heartbroken right now at a crossroads. I feel like somebody was friends with somebody on Facebook. And they really liked this person. And they saw that that, that is really who they wanted to be happy with. And they wanted to get with this person. But there is something that happening where it's going to cause a tower moment. And with social media and relationships, it represents some type of third party situation. This is some third party drama. Yeah, because they saw that it's somebody that they were cool with, that they see that they could be happy with and they want to propose with. But it was like some type of party or a celebration or something that caused some type of tower moment. Somebody could have saw something and started having an awakening due to whatever this spiritual awakening was caused by some I don't know. They led, no, they feelings hurt. I'm going to just let you know that's what I'm saying. But somebody's manifesting something. It's like, whoever this person is, this person could be seeing you be happy on social media. And now this person is realizing they're ready to be with you. I don't know. 17 minutes. That's what I'm seeing for that week. Um, For the week, this man or woman is seeing you being happy on Facebook. And you're prospering, you're growing in this person, whoever this is. It's something unexpected happening that caused a spiritual awakening while this person was partying. And now it caused a tower moment. They were celebrating. They they realized I I really to me to be honest with you, I feel like that what was going on. That somebody was doing a little too much or something. And I feel like this person is fucked up. And I feel like this person gonna try and come start some drama within your happy relationship or this person wants you now that they see that you're moving on and you're happy with somebody else just be careful i right, aries